entries allows us to get an iterator object back from an array. So we could go through and we could see what the key value pair is of a given index in an array. Let's do an example. So what we have here is an array with beer, bacon, and Bernie in it. And then what we're going to do is we're, we're going to get from this array this iterator object by just appending this dot entries to the end of it. And for the first example, we're just going to log out what the next value would be as a key pair. So let's do that. And we see at this zero index, we have beer. If we were to do this again, let's see what it would do. We would see that it would go to bacon down here. Now, we could do something else. We don't have to console log every time. Let's go ahead and write a loop and go through these and show what that would look like as well. All right, so now that you have this, it's just a simple for loop here. I know I was going to use this iterator right here, but I just decided to kind of do this all in one line, so it's just a bit easier to read. But this is how you take your elements in an array, put it in a key value pair, so like a you know dictionary and other languages and whatnot, and you could iterate and see what the order of things are. Now, in regular programming, I don't know off the top of my head how this would be important, but possibly for breaking down, looking at things, making sense of the array, this is actually a very helpful tool. If you like this stuff, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.